What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be painting um, a desert pattern. I'm not really sure what to name it, but it's like yellow and orange and uh, we'll even incorporate craw into this one. So I want to show you guys how to do it. Uh, so like always, uh, you want to start off with white and then the next thing you'll go to is a yellow. Any yellow should work, but I'm going to use the uh, yellow medium by, by Golden. And then just spray over all of them. Alright, once you have your yellow uh, on there, dry it. Okay, once it's dry, uh, you're going to want to take it off and find a mesh that'll fit it. Alright, once you have that mesh on, um, the next step is going to be to spray an orange or red over it. So I'm spraying naphthol red light. Naphthol red light. Put it in and then just like a base coat, just coat the entire thing. Let's take the mesh off. It's always a fun part. And you've got, you're left with this. It's kind of like a hot Cheeto. Cheeto colors. Um, so now, on this one, I'm gonna do craw. So we can set this one aside. I'll spray out all my red and put some black in and we'll do the crawl. Alright, now I'm going to zoom in a bit for you guys. I've cut my own stencil for this right here. Just on a piece of cardboard. And so basically you're just going to be doing like this. First for the sides, I'm going to be taking an actual stencil here and uh, in the plate. And that'll be good for your crawl lines for this side. And so to line it up, um, you're just gonna have to use your eyes. There you go, there's your crawl lines. And then you just have to match them up on the top using a stencil like this. So now I can zoom in. So as you can see, there's black. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, like here, the second line you can kind of see. You're gonna wanna take this, 
find the middle and then find the right size. This one is the smallest one because it's a really skinny bait. Line it up and spray that one. So let's do that. And then what I like to do on all my baits, or all the ones for the craw, for the very end, it's usually like a different shade. I don't know if it's focused, but this, it's like the color of the lines. Just spray that black. Uh, for added effect, if you want, you can do around the eyes. I'm not going to. And then you have to worry about the bottom at the end and I'll show you how to take care of that. At first I wasn't gonna do craw for this one, um, but I've decided I, I do want to. So it's basically the same as um, what I just showed you guys on the deep diver. So I'll just time lapse it so you guys can see me do it. All right, now where this is different is for this one, I'm not going to be doing the craw back. I'm just going to do an all black back. So that's why I did the dots because it's just going to get covered up. Alright, for the belly, I'm going to take the same color as this orange and uh, just go over the belly. That way the lines will still be there, uh, but it'll be the right colors the whole way. So, same nap ball red light. All right, and then sometimes you'll end up with something like this. I'll zoom in on it. So you see that little black spot right in the middle? It's way more noticeable in real life. And I'll show you how to cover that up uh, completely. But first you're gonna wanna dry this. All right, now that everything's dry, take a light color, either white or yellow. I'm gonna use yellow because any of the overspray will just look natural. Um, Put that in and spray it over that spot. All right, the yellow wasn't working very good, so I've switched it to white, it'll be the same. So there's splotches on both of them, here and here. Uh, easy fix.
and then take the naphthol red light and spray that over the white. Give you a close up before the eyes, hooks, and everything. Like that one. This one. All right, I'll show you guys when these are done. All right, guys, it's been about a week. I've put eyes on both the lures, and then I dipped them in the KBS clear coat twice. And it's time to show you what it looks like. So here's the deep diver. You can see that perfectly clear bill bright orange belly those crawl lines and those like cheeto lines come through pretty good crawl lines nice and dark At the top we did crawl lines different to the other one and uh yeah so you can just see this one came out it's nice and shiny you can see the glare coming off of that but yeah i did orange eyes for these ones so for the other candy crawl one i did fancier 3d eyes on there um, to make the bait pop a little bit. We did that black back, which is nice and glossy. Clear bill, again. Um, those Cheeto lines still coming through. And the bright orange belly. Flip it around so you guys can see. Yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you think about these painting videos, what you think about these designs. Both of these are for sale, um, both at realfishingtheme.com and on Etsy, so whichever one you prefer, uh, it's going to be the same price on both of them. So let me know. Um, yeah, purchase those if you're interested. Links in description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.